Technology has changed the landscape of luxury cars radically in just a short number of years. Smaller turbocharged engines have replaced larger and higher revving naturally aspirated ones. Digital displays now dominate dashboards and autonomous driving systems have proliferated. The all new BMW 5 Series might as well be a poster child for this forward march of tech. A car still tagged as the ultimate driving machine can now park itself or let me turn up the stereo with a wave of my hand. But will it still raise my pulse on a back road? How does it look? BMW hasn't gone wild with the exterior styling in its 7th generation 5 series, which, for you nerds, goes by the company model code G30. The sedan is sleek and modern but very restrained. The only bits I see likely to generate any controversy are those vents behind the front wheels that the company calls air breathers, and that now exist on just about every BMW in the current range. How's the storage? Available storage space in the 5 Series, nearly 19 cubic feet, dwarfs everything else in the class. There's plenty of room for strollers, shopping bags, or a full set of travel gear like our bags from away. As you'd expect in a car with such a strong technology story, there's lots of room in this cabin for your devices. There's a rubberized tray perfect for a smartphone in front of the cup holders with wireless charging for devices that support that feature. Space under the armrest is greater for larger phones and has access to USB ports. Is it roomy? Very tall, very short, and all of the human beings in between should find a good seating position behind the 5 Series steering wheel. I appreciate that the seat sinks very low, giving me lots of headroom even with the powered sunroof above me. This is a mid-sized car, so room in the back is adequate, but in typical BMW fashion, rear passengers are more cramped back here than they would be in most of the competitive cars. How does the interior feel? Now, I've read some complaints online that the interior of the 5 Series is a little bit boring, and I do think it's fair to say that the Mercedes E-Class and the Audi A6 are a little bit more evocative. Still, I think there's a lot of quality going on here. The leather is really nice, the trim work is classy, and every touch point just feels very well executed. Is it well equipped? At base, your 540i comes with a great engine and terrific handling. Beyond that, the option sheet is a playground of variety and a minefield of dollar signs. Of course, our test car has been equipped with a great many bells and whistles. Some $23,000 worth of options, to be exact. BMW's cold weather package heats the rear seats and the steering wheel. The M Sport pack adds an aero kit, M Sport wheel, and shadow line trim, while the dynamic handling package lets you adjust damper and transmission settings and adds active roll stabilization. But one of the 5 Series' most impressive party tricks, remote control parking, is a standalone $750 option. I'm not sure if it's a game changer or merely a killer app for dealers to close sales, but it's cool enough that we'll show you how it works. How's the infotainment system? I really think that iDrive 6 is in the running for one of the most impressive suites of in-car software on the market today. I'll get the negatives out of the way first. Apple CarPlay is available, but it's a $300 option, and Android Auto isn't available at all. But if you can get over that, you'll be free to enjoy a really well-engineered system. Interface is possible by way of the now standard iDrive knob, which I prefer despite its propensity for collecting fingerprints, or via the touchscreen. You can also control a few functions with the same gesture control system that BMW debuted in the 7 Series. The functionality of iDrive is even more impressive than the varied methods of control. The main menu is a configurable series of tiles. The deeper you click into each one, the more options you expose in each of the systems. Navigation is very smooth to operate with lovely graphics. Driving data is quite rich, from efficiency to performance metrics, and many of the giant selection of driver and safety aids can be customized or turned off and on. Much of this will be set one time and then forgotten about, but it's cool to see how personalized you can make your driving experience simply by way of software. 
Is it a good daily driver? So one of the huge advantages of all of the driver assistance and safety systems that BMW has incorporated into the 5 Series is that it really makes for pain-free commuting. Things like lane keep assist, the steering assist, really help you feel confident and comfortable when you're doing low or really high speed stuff on the highway. I think another thing that core 5 Series buyers are really going to appreciate is the very quiet, smooth ride. Certainly I've liked it. It makes the optional sound system have a really great sound stage, even for things like podcasts. Is it fun to drive? I love this 3 liter turbocharged engine. It's making 335 horsepower, 332 pound-feet of torque, and it's connected up to an 8-speed automatic transmission that's really fun to actually play around with with these paddle shifters here. All that low-end torque especially makes the car feel a lot quicker than BMW even rates it at. The adjustable drive modes also add to the fun. Pushing the sport button increases the throttle response, which generally speaking makes all driving a lot more entertaining. And frankly, the 5 Series really lives up to BMW's reputation for nice handling. Now, the car doesn't give you a lot of feedback. It's too much of a luxury-oriented vehicle to give me a lot of, you know, steering feel or to hear what the tires are doing. That being said, you throw this thing on a good road and you're really, really going to enjoy what you see. How's the fuel economy? The 540i X-Drive isn't the fuel sipper of the 5 Series range, but it's in line with competitors for the most part. 29 miles per gallon highway, 20 city, and 23 combined are equal to or very close to ratings for similarly equipped Audi, Mercedes, and Cadillac products. How much is it? Like I said earlier, this car is loaded with options. The driveway sticker price is a breathtaking $82,360. Even though the base of the 540X drive is just $58,750. If you're wondering, the very most basic rear drive 530i starts around $52,000. What are the negatives? The detriments to this 5 Series are primarily complexity and expense. If you hanker for the days when you could get a BMW with a manual transmission, a Revy engine, a great stereo, and not much else, this is not the car for you. So it's fair to say that there's nothing else in the mid-size luxury segment that I would call a pure driving machine either. Who should buy it? Tech nerds will love this car. Former 5 Series owners will appreciate the digital and dynamic enhancements, and anyone looking for a well-rounded, elegant luxury sedan should take a look and take a drive.